Heading home for me, guys. This is a dealership. We just picked up our brand new MY19 Isuzu D Max LSM, and uh, we're looking forward to many, many years and many miles of exploration with this car. So, we have some plans for this one, we'll let you know later. D-Max is here, got two weeks worth of modifications going on her. She will be a totally different beast by the time these lovely people have finished putting the stuff on that we need to go traveling full time. Everyone's just been good as gold in here and they're speaking the same language. So we know where we are, we're all on board. And from a project management side in my previous life, they're speaking my speak. Ooh. All your all your accessories are fused through here, so I've put a few spares in there as well. Thanks. You've got your you've got your USBs here, and then you've got your fridge on its own merit socket. It's on its own system, so here's yeah. your main powers. That's all you've got. If you don't need to add anything, you've got what, four. That's four like main distribution panel for that. That's it, that's your buzz bar, yeah. The GME, so your radio and your HEMA are constant power charge. So if ever you can't start the vehicle, if ever you're somewhere you don't have the key, your radio will always work to talk to someone and you can always charge your HEMA to find your way. Yep. Right. A lot of people have been asking about our new truck. So as you all saw when we were in the States, we had an F-250 and that was a super great truck for doing the highways of the United States of America. In Australia, we're trying to do something a little different. So I'll just run you through from front to back and see if I can remember it all. So went with a TJM bull bar. We need a bull bar. Obviously you travel around this country, lots of wildlife on the roads you want to protect the front of your car. So we've got a TJM bull bar. We put some big spotlights on there so we can travel dusk and dawn or at night and we can see what's coming. We have a UHF radio GME fitted to the front for, for emergency communication and we have a 9,000 pound winch under there. We don't expect to be in those sort of areas where we're going to be winching often but you never know with us where we're going to end up as we evolve as travelers around australia standard isuzu d-max three liter engine probably knocking out about 130 kilowatts and about 400 neutron bombs of torque i have no idea what that all means um we have the winch controller set up in here and we had a dual battery set up, but I'll run to that in the back. So in this engine bay, that's a torque power module. We get about 30% more power, more torques, more kilo wasps in there. We have a proven cash can to help keep the engine nice and clean, recirculates the oil vapor from the crankcase, and we drain that out under here every 5,000 Ks. It's just a, a way of protecting the investment, which is the, the three liter engine. And we have a pre-filter on there to um, help take the water out if we start getting remote. You don't want dodgy fuel. I had a set of um, diff breathers put inside, inside the engine bay in case we do any water crossings. I think that's about it for the engine bay. We have the Toyo tires, they're all terrains. 
We had some CSA rims appropriately rated. We need those appropriately rated because we had a GVM upgrade done to the vehicle. That allows us to put more stuff on the vehicle. We have the snorkel, so we're getting more air into the engine that's making more power. Also, back underneath, uh, I'll show you, we have the torque at three inch exhaust. CSA mirrors come out like this, and this is all we need with the little van. And uh, you can spin them around like this, and we have electric function in there. Top of the D-Max, we had a Rhino rack put on. We got our swags on there, we got our shovel and our max tracks. We're gonna do a lot of beach work. We love the beach, we love the ocean. So if we're on this soft stuff, sooner or later we're gonna get stuck. So you need to be able to recover yourself. So we have a set of TJM sidebars, protect the sills over any rocks and rough stuff. And they're also really convenient for me being short to get up to access the things, lightweight things that we put up there. There is in there. Lovell's goodness, Blackhawk, couple control arms, keeping it all Mickey schmig. So inside the D-Max, just pretty standard and we're trying to keep it as streamlined as possible. Uh, my easy tyre, um, tyre pressure management system, so I can monitor my tyres both on the truck and on the trailer when we're towing at Caravan. Lee has um, a screen set up there, that's her navigation screen that's a HEMA maps. What else have we done? We've put some neoprene seat covers in, some floor mats because it's all basic vinyl. So we have our controller here for our torque system. So part of the integral torque system that we got, it's a complete system, was we had the power module to generate more power from the engine. We can control the throttle response by this little uh, throttle module here. We have three settings. One for economy, one for towing and hauling, and the other one for just race boy, and that's maximum power, maximum torque. We have a Red Arc uh, Topo Plus that helps control the braking effect on the back of the caravan. And next to that is our GME handset. It's also something that we'll get to use when we get traveling a little bit more remote. Phone service is not gonna be that great, the only other thing that we run in here is our GoPro for when we're having a chat and carrying on. The back of the D-Max, we went with an Aeroclass canopy. It's a little bit lower than some of them, but it looks really cool on the back of the truck. We have um, a set of roof racks on there, and that's got our solar panel fixed in there. Provides us power to our second battery in the back. We went with a TJM bar and tow hitch on the back, so we can obviously tow the van and it's got nice steps. We had these all blackened out just to make it look cool. We had the Raptor coating put on because I use this as a, a workspace, so it's gonna get beaten up. Back of the Aero class, so we had the Easy Slide by Clearview put on there. So those are not familiar. This slides out and I'll handle here. For our shorty people, we have access to our fridge. So basically recovery gear on this side and everything I need to keep my tires in perfect condition. So as I said, we've got a compressor on board with my TPMS, my tire pressure management system and everything I've got in the back of here. We keep our tires in tip top condition. It's what you need to do. It's a daily thing for me, just gloves. I've got my emergency battery starter in there keep that all topped up at all times first aid kits and my tools that's the drawers the solar panel on the roof provides trickle charge keep my fridge going keep my house battery set up which is uh, under here press this button and here's my wings so underneath there we have our house battery, our fuses, and we have our BC to DC charger by Red Arc. We've had the guys fit two USBs and a 12 volt adapter there. So we can charge off of these. And I build this, uh, this year. What's the best thing that you like? I'm not sure 
Would I like the best on mine? No, we're loving this. We can't wait to uh, do a couple of laps in this. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. I don't know what my favourite bit is yet. I'm sure that will come to mind. But anyway. Right, as always, if you like the videos that we're, Lee and I are throwing together, please give us a like and a subscribe. Hit that notification button so you'll follow us all around Australia as we do our little tour.